300 episodes of Phalos in the movies? Are you kidding me? Why hasn't this show been cancelled yet? episodes of Phalos in the Movies. I can't believe I got there. And for the 300th episode, I've decided to do something I've never done before. Talk about Ninja Turtles. Well, at least it's not Mac and me again, right? This isn't just any Ninja Turtles video I'm talking about this time, though. This is a pretty obscure one, maybe even less known than Operation Blue Line. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Mystery of the Cliffs. This was a Ninja Turtles video put out by the Bureau of Land Management, which combines elements from the Ninja Turtles movies, cartoon, and concerts. The BLM is the U.S. Department which administrates over public lands, and they created this Ninja Turtles video in 1995 to try and get kids into land and artifact preservation and the protection of natural resources. This video would be shown in school, so it wasn't ever commercially sold, and the non-profit nature is probably how they got access to all these different Ninja Turtle elements. So to represent the turtles in this video, we have the later costumes used for the concert tours, which they credit to Tortoise Shell Spectre. And there's a special thanks to Bob Bijan, who was one of the producers on these concerts and wrote the script for Coming Out of Their Shells. He was also the singing voice of Michelangelo. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Damn you, Bob Bijan! I don't know, I'm angry about that for some reason, I guess. Bob Bijan is now the head of global events at Microsoft. This special does actually credit the people in the suits, which is nice, though I'm not familiar with any of these names, and they might just be people who worked at the BLM or just other locals. I do suppose, though, it's notable that a couple of them were actually female. Guess they really beat next mutation to the punch on a female turtle. Well, sorta. Not really. I shouldn't have brought it up at all. Yet I kept it in the script! 300 episodes! Names you'll likely be more familiar with are the voices for the Turtles, because yes, they got the 87 cartoon cast for this, so like in Operation Blue Line, we get their voices coming out of some silly suits. Though, the concert Turtles are a bit better than the Blue Line ones, of course. Cactus is full of water. I mean, I don't know if you could fill a pool with it, but you could survive. Splinter talked to all of us about this at the same time. In addition to Townsend Coleman, Barry Gordon, Cam Clark, and Rob Paulson, we also have Peter Renaday as Splinter. I have brought you here to teach you of a special responsibility, oh, yeah. the responsibility of stewardship. Though, of course, this isn't the first time that Cam Clark and Peter Renaday provide the voices for these costumes, as they were in some productions of the Coming Out of Their Shells tour, like the one filmed for the VHS. You know, we really appreciate y'all coming out to hear us. I hear you sing, and this is good. Also, I think this is the first time I've seen Cam Clark credited as Cameron Clark. And the element from the TMNT movies we have in the Cliffs of Mystery is the soundtrack. Watch out for scorpions, dudes. I hate scorpions. Won't have them around the lair, frankly. So, it's kind of weird to hear the movie's music with the cartoon voices and have the concert costumes on screen. This video is also put out by a company called Hollywood Promos, which is pretty generic and of course comes up with a lot of other things when you try to search it, so I really couldn't find anything on them. Also, try to spot when they switch from B-roll nature shots to shooting inside the studio. It's a real... Subtle change there. Hey, never mind the scorpions. I just don't think any self-respecting turtle ought to be around this much sand without an ocean next to it. Ah, this looks good to me. Let's get the camp set up before Splinter gets here. It's kind of amusing that in the video where the Ninja Turtles talk to you about land preservation, they're never actually out on said land. 
Now, practically, I'm sure having people out in the Arizona desert wearing these turtles costumes wouldn't have been a great idea, so of course I don't really blame them for shooting it this way. Hey, Leo, tell us again why we're doing the Pioneer thing. It's always good to get clarification about why you're going somewhere after you're already there. Who's supposed to deliver pizza out here? The Pony Express? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what do I look like, a tape recorder? Yeah, kinda. Chill, dudes. We'll just make our own pizza. Like the Pioneers did. I wonder if the Pioneers put pineapple on their pizza. You'll notice that the turtles like to stand around with their mouths open a lot in this video. Cow! <coughs> There's something special about this place. Maybe something mystical. Yeah, totally. Over in the distance, we can see the next generation crew getting slaughtered. Wait, wait. Shut up, Wesley dude! Splinter said it has to do with our training. Yes, I told them to go out into the middle of the desert and die. Good training. Learning more about being good turtles, good ninjas, and good Americans. The turtles are real Americans. Fight for the rights of land preservation. Did he say anything about pizza? Pizza is Italian. It's not American like Splinter. Many years ago, I lived in Korea. Not again! Hey, Raph, did you shrink on the trip over to the Studio Desert campsite? So, sometimes the dubbed audio is a little awkwardly timed with the actions on screen, and it also gets disconcerting a bit with the lack of sound effects. It's not delivered in 30 hours, it's free! Well, this place doesn't look so mystical to me. You guys pitch camp. I'm gonna check out the real estate and see what gives. Okay. All right. All right, dude, later. Come on, guys. Awesome job, dudes! Yeah. A bring on the chuck wagon, pilgrim. Raph can do the cooking. He didn't lift a finger to help. Yeah, let that stupid Raph do all the cooking. We just want to flail our arms around excessively. We are talking! <gasps> well, that's just great. I never knew there might be nature out here on this nature hike. I hate nature! That looks like some kind of cliff dwelling up there. I don't see any cliff dwellings. There it is, up near the top of those cliffs. Oh, the cliff dwellings were by the cliffs. Mystery solved. Anyway, we don't need to worry about those cliffs. We're nowhere near them. I got a feeling that someone we know might have beat us to it. And I've got a good idea who that someone might be. The suspense is killing me! <coughs> we better go find him before it gets dark. This is great. I can't see much, but I like the feel of the place. There's something almost familiar about it. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. I got it! It reminds me of the sewer! LOL, Michelangelo's an idiot! Cause this place is most bodacious! Dusty cave sets are bossa nova! Oh, graffiti like the subway. This place has more in common with the big city underground than we thought. These petroglyphs and drawings were made by the people who lived here, not by some jerk with too much time on his hands. Well, just because they lived a long time ago doesn't mean they weren't some jerk with too much time on their hands, Donatello. Look, here's a scorpion! Bogus! That's not a scorpion, it's a deer! I got a question. I think Michelangelo gets stupider every year. That's not a question, Professor. Tell the story. Excuse me. Maybe what these people's lives were like? How they lived? How they hunted? Yeah, where they got their pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Real overkill on the pizza references there, Mikey. If these places are such a big deal, then how come nobody ever takes care of them? Wait, I think I know the perfect way to save all these places and protect all of nature. An RTD monthly pass! Why aren't there any signs? Where's the information stand? Where's the nearest custodian? The nearest custodian? Well, I'm glad Leo at least joined Michelangelo on the stupidity tour. And the nearest custodians are standing in this room. Oh, where? Where? Oh! Us, you numbchuck, he means us! Ah, oh, jeez, that line wouldn't fly in the UK. Let's hear the Hero Turtles version. Oh, where? Where? Oh, 
Us, you grappling hook. We are all the stewards of America's historical treasures. Treasures? Treasures? Gold, jewels, pizza? <coughs> this whole place is a treasure. Actually, it turns out this cave was just the ancient restroom. A real scat treasure. Yeah, right, dude. Oh, oh. Sh shh. <laughs> What is it? We've hit the mother load in this one. Shredder will be pleased. This stuff is worth a fortune in the right places. You mean the wrong places. <laughs> that joke was so bad it caused the foot soldiers voice actors not to get credited. Or it was just the same people in the suits. Or it was just people around the office who really didn't care. Kinda funny they didn't get anyone to don the Shredder costume for this production. But then again, maybe someone actually looked at that Shredder costume. Whatever the case, we only get a few random foot soldiers as the villains in the Turtles' big BLM adventure. Some stuffy museum with the stupid idea that it belongs to everybody. <laughs> What do you want to do about the overgrown reptile? <gasps> Looks like a little unexpected action. Let's go get him, dudes. Oh, wow. Michelangelo actually has his nunchucks. I think this is the only time we've seen the concert turtles with any of their weapons. Our master splinter says that you can do more good with music than with any pair of nunchucks. All right, let's sing them to death. Pizza USA. I have a great idea. We'll just bury these mutants in place of the loot. Can you imagine what will happen when some dim bulb archaeologist digs them up? Can you imagine what it would be like if I was played by a real actor? Ha ha ha. They'll make up a whole new history. An ancient culture of giant brainy turtles. <laughs> so I guess archaeologists are all a bunch of morons who just think anything they find buried has got to be really old. Hey, remember when we found remains of that ancient culture who played E.T. on Atari? <laughs> My guy got a... Well... You might as well, Mikey. You aren't actually tied up correctly, so nothing's stopping you. Stop right there. This illegal spelunking party is now concluded. Wait, Splinter's ghost? Did Splinter die? Is this why he wasn't in getting down in your town? We'll bury your sorry bones along with your mangy friends. Waste him. Huh? Oh, I miss that he's being screened with a warp effect you can hardly tell. Anyway, a star is born. Literally. I don't know why Splinter ever bothered with ninjutsu when he can just shoot out magic stars. And him? Total? Why did Splinter's untying magic star make Leonardo delirious? Get him, guys! All right, come on! Let's go! All right. Wow, I didn't know you could just spin the frame to solve everything. Well, that's that reviewed. <laughs> Wait, nope, there's more time in the video. Guess that didn't work. Cowabunga! I have never liked Cowabunga! Where's the nearest custodian? Where seldom is heard A bogus shredder foot nerd And the pizza's delivered all day You've heard these turtles sing before, but never drunk around a campfire, so that's new. I gotta admit it, Donnie. Your idea about a club that would make kids Deputy Ninja Turtles and Honorary Custodians of America's Historical and Archaeological Treasures is a good one. I never said any of that.
to be real custodians of the land, what the kids really need to do is get an RTD monthly pass. Damn it, Michelangelo! I don't want to bring up any bogus thoughts, but what about Master Splinter? Oh yeah, I guess we forgot our father figure might be dead. Someone has failed to properly stow his gear. I was just busy skipping stones. <laughs> Stones. Pizza dudes! <laughs> All right. Who cares about you, Splinter? I have brought you here to teach you of a special responsibility, oh, yeah. the responsibility of stewardship. This wouldn't have to do with historical and archaeological stuff, would it? How do you come to ask this question, Leonardo? Well, it's like this. We took a little hike, and then... And that's the whole story. I don't want to overhype this or anything, but I've got an incredibly hilarious joke for that, and it goes like this. And that was the joke. Pretty good, right? Uh, just one question, Splinter. Why this particular neighborhood? One of my ancestors settled here exactly 400 years ago. Well, that sounds highly unlikely, Splinter. Why did you leave us after the fight? My sons. I have only just arrived. It could not have been me you saw. Whoa! So Splinter's ancestor was also a mutant rat with the same voice. Sure. The credits roll after that real want wah of an ending, but it's not over yet because Donatello has to tell you to protect the land or die. Splinter let us know that solving the mystery of the cliffs doesn't exactly take care of everything. So guess who he suggested would help? You. No, no, I can't protect your land. Don't you put this on me, Donatello. Of course, Michelangelo says, cool, who's gonna mess with four masked turtles and 40 million kids? We could have just had him say it, but I guess Donatello saying that he said it is better. And some are even fossils of prehistoric animals. Uh, be careful with those, they could be in the family. These places are located on our vast public lands, 270 million acres. They're mostly under the protection of the Bureau of Land Management. But not even BLM can keep an eye on that much turf. And just what are we protecting them from? Besides bogus nerds like the foot, that is. Land preservation is important and all, but I think learning that the Foot Clan are a bunch of bogus nerds is the most important thing I learned today. Some people don't realize that writing their names on things or taking souvenirs is uncool. That's why we have to find a way to stop gridlock. I took a souvenir, and with this artifact, I shall cause the downfall of both all of nature and the RTD Metro Blue Line! <laughs> Prepare to die, Gridlock, you bogus nerd! What? Whoa! Whoa! This was a bit extreme! Yeah, maybe, but that'll teach Gridlock never to mess with nature again. Well, what's left of Gridlock didn't live long. Fortunately. Um... He was a bogus nerd anyway. <laughs> and then there are real bad dudes, like the Foot, who know that pots and things can be worth a lot of money, so they steal them from us and sell them for a big profit. The Foot Clan is built upon stealing pottery! These freaks! These... Turtles would not even know how to display such artifacts. The Foot Clan is built on pottery, Saki! You idiot! I just love that this thing exists. The turtles are just everywhere back in the day, and now I have to protect this video from bogus nerds like the Foot. But none of you guys are bogus nerds like them, right? Anyway, thanks for sticking with me for over 10 years and 300 episodes. Here's to being canceled before 300 more. Fake. That toy is gonna break Fainers don't 
let me down You need to be around Grab that chocolate pizza I leave her like it cause I want Failus so failus Bring a mortar comedy Failus so failus And animation movie Failus so failus What we really is so fun Failus so failus What's your opinion about? So I hope you guys enjoyed the 300th and last Phalus in the Movies. Until I film the next one.